You couldn't come here when you were born. Really? Yeah. Good morning, we woke up and we had to run out of our hotel room because we were late as always. But now we're here, we're about to get a red cab to the airport and go to... Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. So, yeah. we're so really it's our, excited. Yeah, it's our first time to Vietnam. I have to get all the visa stuff done. Yeah, that, that was forever. a lot. So they require a little bit more than some countries around Normal. here. Yeah, yeah so. but it, it makes it like more exciting because we had to work really hard right. to be able to go. It's like a forbidden place. Exactly. So we're going <laughs> today. So we were gonna take a taxi, which is the same price as this red cab that we've taken before, but we figured this is the last red cab we're gonna be able to take. Okay, so we made it to the airport. However, we don't know if we can get our boarding passes and get in because last time we tried to do this on VS Jet, they waited two hours. Yeah, we might be here for like a bit before we can even get yeah, like three hours on the other side. We're trying to get to the lounge so we can have Wi-Fi access so we can do work, but... We'll see about this. Interesting, so apparently security is outside here. Oh, we think we just went through security. But it was outside? It was outside and it like definitely wasn't as thorough as the like Securities we yeah. thought we were used to going through. We're not sure ex exactly if we have to go through another one, but like the whole time we were in line, this lady kept touching my neck pillow. It's like on the back of my backpack, and she just like kept on like touching it. it. Like touching it. And I even like turned around to like see, like look at her, like what's going on here? And she just like smiled, but she kept doing it. So, so uh, I was re looking at our itinerary. Nothing is bad has happened. It's just our flight is at 2.40, but we thought it was at 4.40 because I can't read. Because the itinerary says 14.40, and I was just like, oh, 4.40. That's not what that means. It means 2.40, yeah, so but the good thing is we don't have to wait in the lobby now that much longer because our flight's actually quite sooner than we had thought. Okay, so I've like found all these people wearing the security bag checkpoint sticker on their leg. I'm like, how did they even get there? And then I got up, I'm sitting down, <laughs> and it's on my leg. Like, how? Did they security check me? Like, what? Okay, so this is our second time playing via jet. We don't know if they're gonna make us check a bag. We're hoping they don't, but we are definitely over the weight limit, so we'll see. Yeah. Oh, okay. We take it to Make it 20. Okay, okay. We can do that. Okay. They're good? Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Please make sure no batteries. No batteries? Paper bags? Oh, we have to check the bags. Oh. Okay, so it did not work out. We had to pay for our check bags which came to less than $30 for both of them, like combined, so not bad. Whatever. Not bad. Um, anyway, so now we have to go through security again, but I saw it upstairs, and then hopefully we're gonna find our lounge, and hopefully we get to spend some time in it. Did I leave something? <laughs> Okay, made it through security, that was crazy. Uh, being the one good thing that happens today is this priority pass lounge. Yes, let's and hope. I don't know if we can make it in. It has been the weirdest day, just like getting here early. We knew we were getting here early, and then all of a sudden our flight's earlier than we expected it to be. Mm -hmm. And we just like, whew, it's nuts. Okay, so we enjoyed our time in the lounge, however, we just running because they just called last call. We're not late. We're on time. Oh, everyone's boarded except for us.
an hour to get into Vietnam after we got off our plane. It's like in this little holding area. And we the thing is we pre-did everything before we got here, but it's still... Yeah, so Vietnam, they need you to have a form filled out called an NA-1, and you need a visa on arrival letter that you have to purchase online. To get faxed to you. And you get scanned to your email and you have to print it out before you come. Mm -hmm. You need to have your passport photo ready to go, or your, excuse me, your visa photo ready and then 25 US dollars. And we heard that if, we read, that if you have Thai bot, that they charge you more than $25 worth. So we got $25 US money. in Chiang Mai. So we got to the counter and we gave all of that stuff to the people and they told us to sit down along with many other individuals trying to get into Vietnam. And we were sitting there for probably 30 minutes, mm -hmm. maybe 40. We checked everything and then we got the go ahead and then we went to the actual attendant that was gonna listen to the country and the person in front of us like... Had to bribe to get the in. immigration officer to, to get, get in. in. Which we've heard of before, but I've never actually seen that. So that's something yeah. new. Yeah, really it was just really the, the process of getting into the country was very Lengthy. long and detailed, but we're here now. So. We are here. We gotta find our taxi to go to our place and apparently it only costs four US dollars. So I'm excited about that. Yes. She just pulled out, how many million? Two million, no. Yeah, two million, dollars. Dollars. Which is about a hundred dollars. So we're here, finally sinking in. I'm so excited. When I was born, we could not come to Vietnam. So like this is always a forbidden place. Like growing up, I was like, oh, we can't go there. Like all my friends and family, like that place is crazy. And like to finally be here just feels like I don't know. Like I feel like I'm not supposed to. Forbidden. So, yeah, like I kind of feel like a rebel, but it just it's like some place that was unattainable to go. And like, now that we're here, oh. technically we could come here. It's just like why we couldn't come here when we were born. Really? Yeah. We have arrived, but now we gotta cross the street. We're going. We're going. Mm -hmm. So we made it. We're on like the eighth floor of this. Like, it's so weird because the hotel is like a little square. Like they just like, it's a huge building and they've got this little square that goes directly up and the middle of the square is the staircase and then there are rooms that go off each side. And we just kept going up and up and up and up and up and we are way up here. It's like a balcony and it's like <sighs> really nice outside and there's like, the ride here was something else. It was crazy. Like the craziest place I have ever been in. Like Thailand had a lot of like motorbikes or whatever, like no, no. Like maybe 10% of what's here. And it's like everyone's honking, just letting you know they're there. Like it's not mean honking, but it's just honk honk and just like everyone's all around you and it's happening so fast. Yeah. It was nuts, it was absolutely nuts. And we, we took a grab here and we actually gave him more than he asked for. Because it was super entertaining. I can't believe he was even able to drive through it. Like it was the craziest place. It is the craziest place I think we've ever been to. Mm. This is the arrangement. We're on pallets, like literal shipping pallets. And then the bathroom is like also a shower and the door won't even open all the way. But it's all good. And then here's the staircase. And the answer layer. So this is the street. We're about to embark on our first journey. But I'm gonna save all the touristic stuff. We're just going to the grocery store first because we really wanna give you our first impressions of Vietnam, which will be in the next video. But it's about to get crazy. Going, going, going! What? Okay, so we had to get some water. So we went to the grocery store. I promise that's all we did. We haven't explored anything. We're not leaving you out. We just went to the grocery store. We're going back to our place now to go to sleep, to wake up early so we can explore this amazing city. Yeah! So overall, today was a great day. We left Chiang Mai and it was like beautiful weather and then we got here and it's beautiful weather, but on the way we had to check a bag, which we didn't know we were gonna have to do. We also almost did not get lounge access, but then we did. Right, we had to find it. We were confused if it was outside or inside. Usually they're inside and then I saw a kiosk outside of the airport. So I didn't know what was going on. 
we barely got to spend time in it, but we did eat there. So overall, it was a great experience. And that was our only meal today. Like the only money we spent on food was nothing. Yeah. So anyways, we're here in Saigon. We're excited to be here. It is craziness outside. We have no idea what tomorrow brings us. So we have a lot of research to do tonight, and then we're gonna wake up nice and early and start the day fresh. So we're gonna call it here. See if she can get this for cheap. Getting better.